Hey guys, how's it going? This is Delphal Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going over what does a key look like inside of a lock. A key is an item that people depend on on a daily basis, but they may not have a really strong understanding of what is going on inside. In order to better visually demonstrate this, I'm going to utilize this cutaway lock here. I'm going to insert the key right inside it, and I'm going to go over how a lock works. More information is coming up on this topic in just a moment. Please stay tuned. What happens when you insert the correct key into a lock? So as you take a quick look at this lock, you can see it has five chambers, one, two, three, four, five, and all of the pens are sitting at different heights. So what's gonna to happen to the pens as we insert the key? You can see that the pens are starting to move around, but once all of the pens are fully inserted, you can see that they are very organized and they are all terminating at the same height. You are able to turn the key and the lock will open up. You can see that the pens on the bottom here are sitting very flush with this portion of the lock here, and all the pens on the top are sitting very flush with this portion of the lock here as well. So what exactly is going on? So the lock that you see in front of you is called a pen and tumbler lock, and it is one of the most common locks that you'll run into. How a pen and tumbler lock works, it's divided into two parts. The top portion is called the Bible, and the bottom portion is called the plug, and you can see that there are five chambers, one, two, three, four, five. Each chamber contains a spring that is pushing down on two pens. The spring is pushing down on the driver pen, and the driver pen is pushing down on the key pen. How a lock works is the driver pen is being pushed down by the spring, and it sits recessed in the plug here. When the driver pen is sitting recessed in the plug, it is physically obstructing the plug from turning over, and that keeps the lock in the lock state. When you want to get the lock opened up, you're going to need to take the key. The key is going to line up perfectly with each chamber. You can see one, two, three, four, five. Each portion of the key is going to have different raised areas, and this is called the key binning. The height of the key plus the height of the key pin are all going to equal the same height going across, which is going to make the shear line. The shear line is the very thin area between the Bible and the plug, where all of the key pins are lifted up to the very top of the plug. They sit flush. They push all of the driver pins up and out of the way, and the lock will no longer be obstructed, and you'll be able to open it right up. So as I start to insert this key, I'll be able to demonstrate that for you. So now you can see the key is inserted, and all of these key pins are lifted up to the same height. All of these key pins are different height, but the portion of the key plus the height of the key pin are all making these key pins lifted to the same exact height going across. These key pins have now pushed these driver pins up and out of the way, and the lock is able to open up. You can see that all of the key pins are sitting very flush here with the plug, and you can see the driver pins are sitting up and out of the way. So what happens when you insert the wrong key? So when you insert the incorrect key, it is not going to lift all of the key pins up to the correct height and the shear line will not be reached. You can see all pins are at random heights and they are sitting obstructing the plug and you're not going to be able to get the lock opened up. So this is precisely what it looks like when you insert the correct key into a lock. A key is something that many people utilize every day and they may not have a really strong understanding of exactly what is going on but it is really cool to understand what is going on inside of the lock. This is how a lock works, and it is very convenient to be able to have a lock operate this way because you can very easily change out the key pens, make a new key, and just be able to change out the lock whenever you need to. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has been a really cool demonstration of exactly what it looks like when you insert the correct key into your lock. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. And just thank you so much for checking this out.